So far, we have considered two main routes of transmission. One is infection by coming into contact with something that has the virus on it. The other is infection through droplets emitted in sneezes and coughs. But some experts say there is possibly a third infection route. Experts are now looking at this new infection mechanism as the key to preventing the further spread of the virus. ある So how does this take place? NHK is conducting an experiment with a group of researchers. The team will track particles in the air using laser beams and a high sensitivity camera. This technology allows us to detect droplets as small as 0.1 micrometers wide. The experiment starts. First, sneezing. We can see a large droplet, about one millimeter in diameter. It quickly falls. But let's look through the high sensitivity camera. We can see small particles that seem to glitter floating through the air. Let's take a look from a different angle. They're small and light. You can see them drifting through the air. These are micro droplets. We're learning that sneezing isn't the only source of these droplets. We ran the same experiment on a close range conversation. People generate a lot of micro droplets when they talk loudly. The droplets between these two stay where they are. They don't drift away. その、マイクロヒマツ、小さな粒子の中にもたくさんのですね、生きたウイルスがいて、大きな声での会話、あるいは激しい息遣い、そういった中でですね、このマイクロヒマツができて、それが近くの人、その人が吸い込むことによって感
とどまるっていうことになります。But there is a way to prevent the stagnation of micro droplets. Opening windows and increasing air circulation is believed to be effective. When you open a window, micro droplets are quickly swept away. できればですね2箇所開けて風の流れを作ってあげるということが大事それが、まあ、1時間に1回でもいいからそういうようなことをやることによって感染のリスクというのはかなり下げることができるようになるんじゃないかなというふうに思います。